You finally ordered that drone that you've been wanting for years. But that doesn't make you a drone pilot just yet. You need to earn your stripes through hard-won experience and dedicated practice. Still, everyone has to start somewhere. Your first few flights might not be glamorous, but I know how to make them safe and as educational as possible. You wanna build good habits early on, not to break them seven months into the learning process. I'm Emily, the Drone Angel, and welcome back to your one-stop shop for everything drone related. Now in this video, I'll walk you through your very first three flights on a DJI drone, including instructions on how to launch and land safely. But before we get started, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button so you're notified when new videos go up. Now, before we get into flight instructions, I wanna talk about pre-flight prep. But if you're eager to get into the sky as soon as possible, feel free to skip this section and go straight into flights. You won't hurt my feelings, I promise. A smooth first flight or 100th flight relies on good planning. It starts at home on your computer or on your phone, checking important details like the weather on the day that you plan to fly and any legal restrictions. Maybe you wanna scout out the location in advance using Google Maps, or maybe you need to write yourself a list of the shots that you wanna take when you're there. Now for these three flights, I want you to try and find somewhere with a big open space. In a perfect world, you have no obstacles to worry about nearby like trees or telephone poles. It's also better if there are few people nearby, maybe early in the morning in a little known area. It's not uncommon for people to wanna to try to chat with you if they see that you're flying a drone, which makes the learning process even harder, especially if you're an introvert like me. Even if you're an extrovert, you wanna be able to focus on flying your drone instead of just fielding questions. Consider where you're gonna launch and land your drone. It's easier with a launch pad, but if you don't have that, make sure there'll be a usable pavement or flat surface. You never wanna fly off grass because it can interrupt your propellers and cause your launch or land to be less stable. I personally use pre-flight checklists to stay on track as a professional drone pilot, and I suggest you use them too, even as a beginner. It's actually more important as a beginner than as a seasoned pilot. These checklists are simple lists of everything that you need to do before you fly. They include stuff at home plus things that you need to do on site. For example, you wanna check your, over your drone for any cracks, tighten the propellers and remove the gimbal guard every time you fly. If you want a comprehensive pre-flight checklist that you can download and use, you can find all of that and much, much more in my e-course on becoming a professional drone pilot from an absolute beginner. Otherwise, you can find some examples online or create your own based on what you think would be a good fit. Dude, I've been doing that even before I had a drone. It all started when I forgot to bring a keg to a party and ever since then, I've been doing pre-party checklists. Yeah. First flight should be simple and focus on the mechanics of launching a landing. Take off the gimbal cap and place the drone on a safe takeoff site facing away from you. Facing away because it makes flying more intuitive and that's what you want for your first flight. Start up your remote and then your drone by doing a short press and then a long press on the power button. Now you have two options, launching manually or launching automatically. You can find automatic launch by tapping the takeoff icon on the left side of your screen. On the DJI Fly app, press and hold the takeoff button and your drone will launch. On the DJI Go 4 app, use the slide to make your drone launch. Now, if you're up for the challenge, I'll show you how to launch manually. You can start the motors in two different ways. Either move both joysticks out at the same time, or you can move them inwards and slightly down. Then push up on the left joystick to make your drone fly up. Now the controller might be more sensitive than you expect. So start out slow and don't go too high. Let your drone hover for however long you want. For this first flight, let's stop here instead of flying around. Consider this a first look at the launching and landing process before we overcomplicate things with actually flying around. Now slowly hold down on the left joystick to bring it to the ground. Now even though you've technically landed, the propellers on your drone won't turn off you need to continue to push the left joystick all the way down until it clicks and the motors turn off. Now, if you have obstacle avoidance turned on, you might notice that the drone might pop up for a second as it senses the ground before continuing to land as you push the left joystick down. So when I'm landing it, I'm just planning on holding down that left joystick until the drone completely lands and until the motors turn off. That was super easy, right? Now let's do it again with an extra step. Place your drone on the launch area again, facing away from you. This time, challenge yourself to launch manually even if you launched automatically last time. Move both joysticks toward each other and slightly down or both joysticks outward. Move the left joystick up to fly into the air and fly the drone up to no higher than like 20 feet high. 
Remember, you can check your drone's altitude in the app here. Let the drone hover for 15 seconds, then spin around 360 degrees by only moving the left joystick to one side. Do a complete circle. The drone should be facing directly away from you again, just like how it started. Now it's time for your first manual landing, or your second if you took the plunge with the first flight. Gently push the left joystick down. Easy does it. Once you've slowly lowered your drone to the ground or launch pad, keep pushing the left joystick all the way down until it clicks to turn off the motors. Now you're slowly building up the muscle memory for launching, landing, and controlling the drone with these flights. On your third flight, you can really start getting to know your drone and how it moves. Launch manually by moving both joysticks out or by moving them inwards and slightly down. Push the left joystick up until the drone is hovering at eye level. Now it's time to run some quick checks. Now I've noticed a lot of new pilots tend to look up at the drone in the air instead of looking at the screen because they're nervous about losing where the drone's at. Try to break this habit early on and focus on your screen even if you have to look up to get your bearings every so often. Now if you're flying somewhere without obstacles, you shouldn't have to worry about looking up at your drone. You should check your signal strength, flight mode, and battery level at this point. Look around in your surroundings and on your app to see if anything is amiss. You should to do all these things every time you launch and it'll be become muscle memory before you know it. Once you're done, it's time to reach a higher altitude by pushing up the left joystick. Go up to around like 250 to 300 feet high. Let your drone hover again and tilt the gimbal found behind the remote up and down. Get a feel for the movement of the joysticks and the tilt of the gimbal. Feel free to capture some photos or video right now using this button, but it's not necessary. Now you're ready for some free flying. Try not to wander too far away from the home point, but experiment with the joysticks and fly around as you please. You can keep an eye on the height and distance of your drone from the home point in the app. This map will show you where you are in relation to the drone, and the line shows you where the drone is in relation to your flying spot. Once you've practiced flying around, when your battery is at around like 40%, fly back towards your launch point. You can use the map to find where your original spot was. Orient the drone so that it's directly above the launch point and slowly lower it using the left joystick. Don't forget to shut off your motors by pushing down until it clicks. I know these flights were short and sweet and they might seem underwhelming if you were fantasizing about zipping through the skies like a hummingbird on like three cups of caffeine. Just know that those times will come with a little more practice. You can improve quickly if you focus on building a good foundation by challenging yourself with something new but manageable every time you fly. Now, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like or a comment. And the biggest compliment to me is if you could share it with someone else that would also enjoy it.